Before we continue on down towards Castletown Baird, it's just a little, uh, a little dead end place I want to show you down down to a little lake. So all the different coloured houses they paint them all down here. All of these and Erie's are the same. All every house is a different colour. So see this little turn here. We're going to take this. can continue on out that little road it goes right along the shore of the lake there but it's a dead end it goes up to somebody's house and you have to turn around beautiful that's uh I think I have drone footage of this. If I do, roll it there, Colette. Yeah, so that's a little lake down a, a dead end road by Ard Groom. Beautiful little spot. So we're going to cut across now over towards Castletown Bear. And uh, from there, we drop down to Dursey Island. Uh, where the cable car is, Ireland's only cable car, it's basically a box attached to this huge cable system where they uh, transport you over uh, to Dursey Island now, anyone can use this, I've yet to do it actually, I've been down to it a load of times but I've actually never gone over in the cable car, <laughs> I'd say it's a rickety old box, and it was mainly set up, I think originally set up for um, farmers to get their sheep over uh, and any time I've been down here the last couple of years, I always bump into a peacock. So let's see if we meet him this trip. Uh, because when I did this a few weeks ago, he was running in the middle of the road. It wouldn't get out of the way, but I got some great footage of him. But of course it got ruined in the rain. All the water got into the uh, camera and... Uh, yeah, it... Um, completely ruined the footage so let's see if we can catch them today we'll keep our eyes peeled but look at this for a vista wow absolutely epic and I know I just know this does not translate through the camera and the reason I do these videos is to share these places that I go to in the hope that you'll find and go and see them yourself because I guarantee if you're driving through this road it may not look much via the camera but it is an absolutely epic piece of uh, scenery when you're here in real life so we're just coming into Castletown Bear here as you can see as I said a fishing village 
and this town or village is always packed let's hope we get a clear run today because uh, it can be a very busy little uh, village Castletown Bear. So now on to uh, the Dursey Island cable car. Just so ran into the curse of the camper van here. Take the opportunity of being stuck behind this camper van to take in the views of the cliffs over there and the, the coastline. Absolutely stunning. Took a little sneaky shortcut to try and get ahead of that camper van because I guarantee he's heading down towards Dursey Island as well. But this little road cuts the corner there and most of the sat navs don't show it. So I should pop out see him. My sat nav heel come down this way and I'm going to cut in ahead of him now. <laughs> That's because motorbikes are cooler. So yeah, so that's that's the island there in front of us. That's not actually the mainland. And the cable car goes out to it. So there must be some sort of a car ferry that goes out to it as well, because I can see vehicles over there. But I've never seen it run. So I'm so you'll see here on my this is where normally the peacock is. So there's some of the original uh, carts, cable cars. See the chickens in there. We'll see the peacock. Keep an eye out for the peacock. That's typical. The day I want him to appear, he's not here. Uh, that house in the corner we just passed obviously keeps chickens and peacocks. But to see the car park here for the cable car, the cables go right across the uh, the lock there. Jeez, it's busy today. So I think the car ferry goes from the little pier down there and up there is where the cable car goes from you'll see it, it's blue and white, you'll see it go out now in a minute I assume oh it's already over the far side I'm 
we'll have an ice cream. Oh, Murphy's ice cream. Oh, we'll be having that. Stunning. So that's where the cable car goes from. Across through these pylons. And you can see it over there, the kind of two-tone blue box. The cars on the other side on the island. You can do a day trip, go over and hike it. That's one, another thing I'd love to do. And I have drone footage of this, so uh, roll it there, Kale. So you can see it's gorgeous. Um, I think I'll go sort myself out with an ice cream now. See if we see the peacock this time.
Come on, Peacock. Don't be shy. Should be here. He's nobody here. I think this house here owns him. Or her. Whatever it is. Let's see if he's in there. Oh, there he is. See him? Just behind the gate. Yeah, normally he's out in the middle of the road causing havoc. be there somewhere Heroic rescue at Calf Rock Lighthouse the plaque commemorates the epic rescue of six men who were marooned on the Calf Rock Lighthouse for 12 days by a severe storm in November 1881. After several failed attempts to rescue men by British gunboats, Seahorse and Amelia Seven, Seahorse and Amelia, seven brave fishermen set out from Dursey Island in a rowboat, an all-out bid to save the men. Under Captain Michael O'Shea, they battled high winds and raging seas to bring all the men to safety. Captain O'Shea and his crew were later honoured for their bravery and seamanship at a ceremony in London. Wow. That's cool. But that's the lighthouse over there. Jesus. I wouldn't fancy that in a storm in a rowboat. I wouldn't fancy having to row out to that in a storm. I don't know if the camera is picking up, but there's a tiny little island way off there that these men rode out in the middle of a storm I'd say it was uh, terrifying although that's only a teeny little speck in the ocean compared to what Tom Crean did Alahis is first and then Aries. I'm probably not pronouncing them correctly. But uh, you'll see what I mean about the view now. Look at this. We're basically going to follow this coast out now.
right, so I finally, hello horses, a gorgeous, look at what a view, what a view, there's a beautiful mine up there, not sure what type of mine it is, it's either a copper mine or a salt mine, I'm not sure, but I've been trying to get that on area for a while now and I think I might have caught it there, so if I did, roll it there Colette. I don't know if the camera's making out my sat nav, but all I can see is squiggle after squiggle. And I'm pretty sure off there in the distance across the, uh, the water there, I can see Skellig Michael. Absolutely epic. If you ever get the chance, jump on it Skellig Michael is just unbelievable I know I've mentioned it before and I'll keep mentioning it because it's epic but uh, it's the place that uh, Luke Skywalker has been hiding out in all the new Star Wars movies uh, but before that it was already famous here in Ireland for just being a, a stunning stunning place a UNESCO World Heritage Site a massive probably one of the biggest bird sanctuaries on the face of the planet and the day I went out there in the boat, they brought us to Little Skellig, which is next to it, and I've never seen so six million uh, seabirds. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like something out of National Geographic. Incredible. Sea lions, puffins, uh, gannets, albatrosses, seagulls, everything you can think of. Incredible.
I don't know where to look. You've got so much beautiful coast on the left, and then all these amazing looking mountains right down the right. It's just hard to choose. Oh! Now there's a great array, a good look out onto that cliff to see or the, the mountain. See the way I mean all the slices of rock. It's just so unusual. So we're pretty close to it here now. See, look. Absolutely stunning. Look at this, it just keeps getting better. Oh my god, look at how steep the road is. Whee! <laughs> oh, watch for the red car coming up. Now see what I mean, Ria Kerry over there, just a whole peninsula of mountains, that's what we're going to be on tomorrow. Can't flipping wait. Can't flip away. Get a photo of that. Stunning. I hope the camera is picking up the silhouettes of those mountains over there, absolutely epic.
So that all of his dairies road, the last couple of miles of it, uh, you kind of get uh, blocked of the view with some uh, trees and all, so you don't see much. And then it turns into this ordinary road just before it comes into uh, Aries. But uh, I could go straight here, but we're going to take a left to go in through the town of Aries. And uh, just so you can have a look at it tonight, it's a, it's a lovely little village. All the houses and the buildings and all are all just painted different colours. It's uh, You'll often see it in the tour guides. But it's a nice little spot. I might even buy a bottle of Coke here. A few moments later. Right, so that's uh, got an old drink there into the rest of uh, Aries here. And then the next section is the uh, the Ring of Bera, and then from the uh, the Ring of Bera, we're going to cut out then up along the coast, heading along the uh, N71. And we're going to go up to the back there, up by Malls Gap, and then down through. Uh, the Clarny National Park Road down by Ladies View and then into Clarny and then we're pretty much home for the nice uh, booked a nice restaurant and now a beautiful steakhouse tonight down in the town so that will be our treat tonight now after a hard day's uh, driving so yeah let's crack on ring a bearer next 